Hello everybody, how you doing? It is tutorial time again, and today I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial for Tropico 6, which you may have seen I've been playing a little bit at the moment. And I wanted to make this because I've noticed some people have been a little bit confused about how you make money in Tropico. Uh, specifically how you make money during the colonial era, where you don't have access to as many buildings from later on. But also this will work for pretty much any Tropico game after Tropico 3, basically. Um... So Tropico, if you are new to the game, the way you make money is by putting down production buildings that produce buildings to export, and uh, then they'll get filled up in the dock here, they'll be sent off, and they'll be shipped. Uh, the game explains this pretty well, but I find that there are two mistakes people make really early on. It's kind of just one mistake. What they tend to do is they'll go into these buildings here, which is your production buildings. So, coconut harvester, logging camp, fisherman's wharf, plantation, ranch, mine... And they'll put, like, one of each of these down and fill the island with them. Uh, and then wonder why they don't make any money. And the reason is uh, two things. Firstly, if you have too many different types of building uh, all over the island in different places, all your goods have to be picked up by the Teamsters. And early on in the colonial era, people often don't put down another Teamsters office. As you can see, there are six workers here. That means you basically have just six people running over the island getting all these different things. So, early on people put down a little bit too much. The other thing they do is they don't work on these buildings here. The lumber mill, the rum distillery, and the tannery. Now, I'm going to ignore the lumber mill for now because I'm not a huge fan of that building personally. It doesn't create really good luxury goods until you make stuff later on with it. But, early on it's actually better to focus on one kind of luxury good you want to produce. Whether it's leather, or rum, or planks. Uh, I'm going to do a rum distillery for the time being, and I'll show you what I think is a better way to make money right off the start with the island. So rather than putting down a lot of different plantations or a lot of different ranches, we're actually just going to max out on one particular type of crop, which is the sugar that we need to make the rum. Now this is not ideal, there's a ton of room here, but um, let's just put these down where, <laughs> where is going to be a best place to fit this. Uh, well, we'll put one here. It's just a tutorial. It's a demonstration of the principle. So, uh, we want to make a couple of these. I've got this, um, this old temple in the way a little bit. Uh, that's three. That's pretty good. So, that won't be too many people, uh, to keep these buildings sort of full and employed. You should have that many immigrants when you begin. You get 76 people. There we go. Now, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to quickly, uh, quick build these. You don't need to, but they're only 750, so that's not too bad. Now, right off the bat, that's going to get you one, uh, one type of crop to ship out. Uh, and I'm also going to put the budget up, because what we're trying to do is get this one production line going. Now, sugar itself is a pretty good commodity. Uh, by upping the budget, we'll make sure people work here. You can also... Uh, hire a foreign worker if you want, just to get your efficiency up nice and early. Um, don't be afraid to spend money to make money in this game. Uh, so the plantations there, that's three plantations. What that means is we're going to be producing a decent amount of sugar uh, right off the bat. And if I go and... it might be a bit too soon, but if I... Uh, hold it. If I go and check the dock already, we might start to see sugar filling in pretty quickly. See, so I'm, I'm up in the budget for a lot of these buildings just right now, just because it'll make things play out a little bit faster in the tutorial. So, these guys are starting to process a little bit of sugar. Ignore the, uh, <laughs> the crown demands, we're not paying any attention to that right now. Uh, so there we go, they're starting to kick out sugar, first of all. Now, if you just stick with these early buildings here, that's the kind of stuff you're going to be producing. Particularly when you don't have a lot of employees. Um, you know, a coconut harvester, a logging camp, fish, they're going to produce kind of this amount of goods. This is not that much. And when they go to ship out, you're only going to get, well, we got hides from that ranch, but as you can see, the hides, expected revenue, $143 from those hides. That's the kind of money the sugar's going to grow it, bring in. What you're trying to get to instead is to a higher processed good, so a higher level of craft. So we put the rum distillery down, same thing, I'm just going to drop this down straight away. 
I'm going to quick build it for now. And uh, I'll put this upgrade on, even though you don't need to, but it's going to use even less sugar. So if there's a sugar shortage, fine. We'll up the budget. We'll hire a foreign worker to make sure somebody's working here. You don't really need to do all that. We'll just, just get the buildings functional. I just because I'm trying to get it done as quickly as possible. And then let the Teamsters do their jobs. And you will find, sooner rather than later, this will start producing rum, which right off the bat, you'll start to get, once the rum production kicks in, you'll start to get, oh, here's what I'm going wrong. I've got the clock on times one. <laughs> once this kicks in, what you'll start to see is rum filling in here, and you'll start to see ships that will be uh, picking up goods worth $1,000 at a time pretty quickly. Once you've done that, you can just gradually roll out the rest of the stuff on your island and stay within budget. Uh, so, let's see, we got sugar filling in here, being picked up, taken to the distillery, and the having the three, rather than having, say, three different ranches with corn, sugar, uh, cotton, and multiple factories, if you had that, what you'd have is, you know, if you had corn, some people are going to eat corn, you, you need to feed them anyway, but, you know, corn, that, that doesn't get processed early on, sugar, that'd get processed into rum, Cotton that might get processed into clothes, but you'd have two underperforming factories. Here what you have, almost immediately, straight away in the game, you have a factory running it as efficiently as possible. You can put this upgrade straight away that does the less sugar consumption, and you've produced 280 rum straight off. Now let's see how that looks in the docks. There we go, 460 units of rums expected to bring in $4,000 straight away. So, essentially, that's what you're trying to do. Uh, put down your buildings that produce goods, but look right from the start for these buildings where you can produce crafted goods. So you have your rum distillery, you have your tannery, which turns leather into hides from cattle ranches, and your lumber mill, which does the logs, but I, to be honest, I don't think the lumber mill's really that good until, rather than exporting planks, uh, until you have other things to make out of planks, other factories. Uh, so there you go, uh, in the colonial era that is really the best way to make money there are of course other ways keep your relationship up with the crown and they'll keep bringing foreign aid uh, always make sure you have a trade deal going because you make extra from that if you can afford it but early on that's what you want to do get something like a factory going either your distillery your tannery or your lumber mill because you get so much more for a processed good than you do for just a raw good plucked straight out of the ground and then once you've got this, I mean, so the next ship's going to be here in two months, and we know we're going to get $5,000, $6,000 for it straight away. And we're still exporting a little bit of sugar as well. Once you get this far, you know the next ship's going to bring in $7,000. Then it's easy enough to just go, okay, well now I can go the next direction and put, say, uh, we'll put them here. Three ranches down and a tannery. Exactly the same process. But if you go much further than that in the colonial era, what you'll find is that you uh, you might start to basically uh, not have enough workers to fill these all. Um, but there you go, now you've got two processes. So instead of hides, we'll be shipping leather. And that's that's almost as good as you can do in the colonial era from earning money from your own production. Uh, when the world walls open, and all the other eras and stuff, you'll get the more and more and more of these factories, uh, and more and more involved ways of earning income, but right off the start, that'll get you to a good start. And that's a process you should just follow through the whole game. Look for, what resources can I produce on my island, and what factories do I have to turn those resources into more valuable resources? That's basically how you make money on Tropico. I'm My budget's gone down a little bit because I built these ranches, but we should see now. Yeah, we're going to make, uh, let's see, ships currently coming every three months. Uh, when these Teamsters drop off a few, they're currently building the building, so the Teamsters will be a little bit stretched. Uh, but as you see, those that, sh that last ship was taking about bringing in about $6,000 a time. When the leather starts coming in, that'll up to another few thousand dollars. And uh, I'm being attacked, and I'm not going to bother defending my island, because uh, this is just an island I put up for a tutorial. So I'm basically going to leave it there. Uh, here we go. 
There we go, we've crossed over 70, that means my money's going up, not down. If I wanted to, all I could do now is just make sure the island doesn't get destroyed and just wait and uh, accumulate a decent uh, budget. What I would do, however, is put another Teamsters office in because um, you need the Teamsters to carry the goods around and that would mean that we're not waiting as long to get the leather and the hides and things like that. And that is how you make money in the colonial era in Tropico. Uh, thank you very much for watching, I hope that was useful to you. Bye-bye.